Hey, what's up, you guys? I hope you're doing amazing today, man. God is good. He, the blessing of the Lord makes rich, adds no sorrow. He's amazing. I wanted to share a thought with you, man, just real quick about knowing his voice. You know, we've been given this invitation by Christ, and he makes the statement, he says, my sheep know my voice. And there's so many challenges to that, man, in, in, in today's day and time, because you know, uh, people want to say that you can't hear his voice and, you know, so, so many things. But, you know, I just choose to believe what the Bible says. I just choose to believe God. And if he said, my sheep know my voice and they won't listen to another, and you could go read that and you can look at the context and you can do all those things and uh, you just trust what he said. So we have this invitation to, to know his voice. And the most important thing about that is, is he said that when you know his voice, you won't listen to another. So many things are going on right now about trying to debunk the Bible, so to speak, you know, trying to prove things wrong and trying to say that men did this and people did that. And it was rewritten from 14 different languages, you know, whatever, you know, and I, and I know that's an exaggeration, but it's just the way people are. And when you hear all of those things and you hear people that have doctorates in theology and doctorates of this and masters in that and uh, wrote dissertations and I know all of these people, you know, all of that stuff, it makes you, it tries to create doubt. But beloved, it's the difference between knowing his voice and listening to the noise because all of that is just noise when you learn how to hear his voice. You learn how to listen for his voice as you study the scriptures. And that's the biggest deal between these people that have a lot of knowledge and they have a lot of study and, and time they put into it. They can debate and they can tell you all the scriptures and all of that stuff, but they can't tell you that they know him or his voice because they haven't learned to listen for his voice as they read. They don't even believe they can hear it. So therefore, as they study, and then when they start looking and they, they see all the different things that, that have been said about the Bible and been written by different fathers, church fathers, and all of this stuff, doubt starts to creep in because they begin to hear the voice of another. And as they begin to hear the voice of another, it draws them away from the true love, the one who loves their soul. Beloved, if I can encourage you in something today, it's get to know his voice. If you don't know it, desire it because God gives us the desires of our heart. Choose to seek after him and to know his voice. Read the gospels, read the scriptures to know his voice because his voice comes in gentleness, kindness, mercy. It's full of grace, full of truth full of love. He don't let you compromise. He won't let you compromise. He will not let you compromise truth and what the gospels say. He won't let you twist it. There's another voice that does that. But when you get to know his voice, when you know his voice and know him, you'll walk in the truth and you will not hear from another. Be blessed, y'all.